Hello. So today we were talking about magnetic stirrers. Now this isn't a product review of which one is the best one or anything like that. Uh, it's more the technology, let's say. A lot of people say that magnetic stirrers can be good for creating yeast um, startups or for if a yeast fails or just for mixing with spirits. So I thought I'd get one. Now the way they work is you have your device plugs into the mains you usually or uh, can be usb and it has a spinning disc like a fan which has magnetic north and south south poles you then have your container which sits on top of it and inside that you will then have a magnetic stirring paddle which will have north and south and it literally sticks to it and it then rotates and spins yeah, that's a really good idea so i got one to test it out now they come with very small little stirring or stirrer, which I then upgraded to this one, which you can see is a lot bigger, it's nearly twice the size, because this just kept jumping around. Now, I can't really comment on yeasts and starting yeast cultures or anything like that, because realistically, if the water's warm enough and you've got a spoon and you stir it for literally just a few seconds, that should be enough, and you don't need to to really have it on a permanent stir. All right, so let's switch this on. Now, this one's quite a good one. Uh, quite a lot of the models are just you switched on and it works, whereas this one we can actually dial in what do we want and also for how long. So at the moment, it shows a big zero, which is how fast it's spinning now, what revolutions you want. And this is by default set to 250 revolutions per minute and for how long you want it to run. And it's got for two minutes. Uh, we're going to be working on this still spirits, raspberry vodka, spirit flavoring. And it states on here to add one liter of spirit and pour this sachet in. So I have my spirit here. So if we oh, fill that up to one liter. Now also be more careful that all of these magnetic stirrers are rated for certain amount of volume of water. This one is rated to three liters. Now the reason for that is the, um, the power of the motor. So obviously if you've got a small 500 mil magnetic stirrer and then you're trying to put two, three liters through it, it's just not gonna be powerful enough. So I'm gonna get a magnetic stirrer and just literally drop it in. You'll see it snaps to the bottom. What I'm going to do is turn this around so that way you can see it a lot easier. There you go, it's quite freaky. Move your jug, that stays around. So if we press and, oh no, press and hold, there we go. It starts stirring, and you can start seeing a little whirlpool that comes over here. But it's quite well. Let's press it, and I'm going to turn it up to 300. Now I've managed to get this to around about, uh, actually I'm going to turn up the uh, 500 before it starts failing, but anything higher than that, it just jumps around all over the place. And if you start high as well, it jumps all over the place. It, you need to build up the speed. Realistically, there's not much need to actually have it going any faster. So now if I just switch it on now, actually let's turn that on to permanent. If I just turn this on to 400, see we, it's stopped. It can't handle it. Hence, you have to start small. So let's bring that back down to 250 and switch it on. Let it get the speed, a little bit of whirlpool, and then you can turn it up. Little increments so of 300. Now, realistically, you don't need to play with the setting three or the speed 300 uh, 250 is more than adequate right so what we're going to do let's grab our sachet and pour it in you can see it's stuck a lot in the middle 
because of that whirlpool. And realistically, what you could do is set it to spin for five minutes and then just turn off, put a paper towel on the top. I'd say by the looks of it, it's already mixed up. I can see some very small marks in the middle from uh, the separation of the water to the, or the spirit to the uh, flavoring. But no, I can't see it anymore, so I think it's already gone. So maybe even just a minute would be fine. Now, has this actually saved me any time? Probably not. Um, I always mix out of these and I use a plastic spoon and I just spoon it in quite quickly, spin it round. So no, I don't think it saved me any time whatsoever. They are cool and they're a bit of fun, but uh, no, not really something I'd need to worry about.